Hi folks, this is Pirate Tiger, and from Size 5 Studios, let's play The Swindle, a steampunk cybercrime caper. I love this game. I love this game. I have been playing it incessantly for the last few days. It's just... Mm, mm, num, num, num. It's perfect. I love it. It's hard. It is brutally hard, by which I mean unforgiving. You make a mistake, you know about it. You get punished so hard. You know, the whole Dark Souls thing, or maybe uh, I want to be the guy, if you know that game. It's, it's a bit more like that. But, as a result, when you pull off the perfect heist, oh, it is exhilarating. Um, as Alex Lemkovich on decidedlybritishramblings.com called it, the swindle is the refrigerated jumbo-sized Toblerone of 2D stealth. And if you know what a refrigerated to a Toblerone is, is basically a, a it's a chocolate-coated caltrop that you stick in your mouth and hurt yourself with. But it, it's very satisfying when you actually get through it. So it's steampunk, which is amazing. It's a game full of upgrades, which I love. I don't know why. It just really mm, presses all my nice parts. And it's a gorgeous, tight little action platformer. And I want you to see it with me. So, new game. Let's do this. The Swindle! That is my airship, baby. It's beautiful. London, 1849. In 100 days, Scotland Yard will activate their breakthrough artificial intelligence technology. Codenamed... The Devil's Basilisk. Its surveillance capabilities will be total. If the project is completed, your career as a master burglar will be untenable. Steal it before that can happen. You have 100 days. That's right, folks. You've got 100 days to beat this game, or it's all over. The pressure's on. Coded and designed by Dan Marshall. And do you know what? He is a lovely chap. Uh, Michael Furman. I love the art style. The whole steampunk thing. And the music, Toby Evans. Mm, it's so well fitting. I, it, it just really adds to it. Anyway, enough gushing. Uh, Dan Marshall, lovely guy. Uh, offered me a free code for the game to, to do an LP of it. Do a Let's Play. I'd already bought it. It was just I was talking about what an amazing game it was on Twitter, and he picked up on it and went, Hey, if you want to do an LP, that's awesome. Have a code. And, yeah, I mean, who does that? That's wonderful. Lovely. Um, so, yes. Nice guy. Nice game. Brilliant game. Possibly my favourite game this year, which is... Yeah, I know. I know. That's saying a lot. Anyway, so this is me running around in my little wooden airship. Isn't it cute? Um, we have our upgrade station here, um, and here we have our little drop pod, but we're not going to do it yet. I just want to show you the upgrade station. Now this is version 1.03 of the game, he keeps releasing patches to sort of tweak balance and stuff, it's only been out a few days. Um, I have completed the game in its original form uh, without the, the tweaks and changes and things, but um, I just really have to keep playing it. Um, so you can see we have all of these abilities, these um, ways of augmenting what we're capable of and we can sort of progress further and further through the game. I've never heard this music before. I've never hung around long enough. This is great. Yeah, we need these upgrades to progress further into the game and you'll see why later. For now, let's drop into our first mission. Down the side there you can see different areas, different zones, different districts with higher and higher security levels and we have to buy security passes to those levels we need a lot of money in order to take on the swindle the very final mission uh, but we're starting out just in the slums the slums, nestled in the underbelly of old London town where Big Ben's chimes strike hardest lies a vast network of ramshackle housing known as the slums Oligarchs of New Belgravia and the ruling elite 
have squeezed the proletariat well out of the capital's booming property market, and as such, desolate little shanty towns crop up wherever there's space. There's simple pickings here for a thief with low morals and lower expectations, but no one's getting rich robbing the poor. This game is rife with social commentary, you just know it. Here we go! <laughs> 100 days remain. I am Henry Beresford, and you always start as Henry Beresford. And you think, oh, well, you don't get to name your character? But look, there's no point. He might die. He might die really easily. So, this little robot wandering back and forth, you can see in front of him. And uh, if he sees us, he sets off the alarms. And he starts running after us and trying to kill us. And you think, ah, oh, I could probably handle that. Yeah, yeah, you can probably handle that for a little while. And then the police show up. And the police are terrifying. So, um... Surviving this game basically depends on you not setting off the alarm. Or at least not until you've got enough done. You've stolen enough money. Ooh, I love sliding down the walls. It's dangerous, but... So we need to collect enough money before we accidentally trip any alarms. But ideally, we want to get out without setting off any alarms and collecting all the money, and you'll see why shortly. Let's see what this says. This is a computer. We can buy the hack skill at the workbench and hack computers for a big payout. Because at the moment, we're just picking up 22 quid per cash, which, uh, I mean, is that a lot? I don't know. No, it's not. No, I'm telling you now. That is not a lot. That is nothing. It's peanuts. Ha! Ah, bosh. Um, so we're going to need a lot more than that. But the very first skill we need is the hacking skill, because that's where the money starts to roll in. Unfortunately, the hacking skill itself is very cheap. I'm about to do something very foolish here. <laughs> I'm going to do it again, because I'm a sucker for it. Yeah, okay. So I picked up all the spare cash that I can find, and fortunately, I came to 176, which... My rudimentary mathematical skills don't fail me. It's more than 100 pounds. Let's return to the airship. Pew. Only 10% of the cash stolen. It's pathetic, isn't it? Which means 90% of the cash is locked in those computers. Let's do something about it. Hello, workstation. Under abilities, the cheapest ability in the whole game for 100 quid is the level 1 hack skill. Allows these to hack computers basic security measures. Basic security measures means uh, things like trip mines and uh, electric traps and that sort of thing. Very, very useful. We're still stuck in the slums and we're going to be for a few days, so sit back. Let's get in there. Let's see if we can wipe out some pauper's home. It's a shame it's not Christmas or something. You know, we'd get into the spirit of it. Now, I could easily take this guy out, but he's stuck in there wandering back and forth, and there's no money in there. There's no point. What would be the point? Uh, same with this chap. I mean, he might sort of trigger the alarm if I keep mucking around at the window like that. But Now this... Hi! Hi! Sorry. This is a computer for the hackings. So, let's hack. Press right. Press right. Press left! 650 something pounds. That is a much bigger haul, I think you'll agree, than the poultry sums we were getting earlier. So, uh, yeah, hacking computers for fun and profit. Uh, the hacking mini game, you can take all the time you want with it, really. I mean, you can see it starts out as a fairly slow process. We can upgrade that later. Everything is upgradable. I love it. Um, but, nothing goes wrong if you take too long with it. It's just that you're kind of stuck there while you're hacking. You can't do anything else. Um, so, oh man, is that... I don't think we can get into... The... Oh, no, that's just... I'm looking at this little cave down at the bottom left. And I'm like, oh man, is there stuff in there that I can't get to? No, I don't think there is. Ugh. Okay, this is... There we go, scrambled up. This is good. Um... Sometimes you'll have uh, places where you just can't get in there. And uh, again, there are ways around that, but it would have meant we couldn't have got all of the money this time round. But we did, with a haul of £763. 
Let's escape from 914 Pink Drive. That sounds rude. Probably not. No! 97% cash stolen. I honestly thought we had it all. I must have missed something crucial. Kicking myself. Never mind. We now have £839. That's not nothing. We can go back to the airship. And with a successful heist under our belt and a little bit of money, we can now buy a double jump. Ha! Ah, a steampunk double jump, no less. Because this... Oh no, can't do it. Yeah, 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 we can. No, we can't. Okay, can't do it in the... Uh... I guess you're not allowed to activate steampunk double jump while on your airship. It's probably a bit dangerous. But let's hop in our drop pod and get down to the slums again. And I'll show you what we've got. Boop. Yes, a little jet of steam. It's so rare that uh, things like that, you know, double jumps and such, are actually explained mechanically, thematically in the game. It's, it's a lovely little touch. So come on, Henry Beresford. I've given you some serious tools now. Let's see you make use of them. Uh, whoop. I'm just going to snap that. I am going to get back in there and, and clobber these guys. Cause, and it's fine. They're robots. You're allowed to clobber robots. No one cares. No one will be upset. Um, so this guy, he's dodging back and forth very quickly. I can get him very easily, but if I accidentally drop down that pit and get discovered, I'm in trouble. So I'm just going to take my time and... <laughs> just like that. And let's hack some computer. Left. Down. Oh, Big Ben in the background. Lovely. Um, there we go. If I stay down here, it's going to come right up to me and not see me at all. Because robots are dumb. Ah, ah. Yeah, some of them are, are less dumb. Some of them are horrifying. Um, I mean, I think there's only one computer on this level, so... If I just grab that bit of cash on the left, I think we're probably done. Oh, that was close. Is there anything to be there? I don't think so. Uh, nope, we're all good. So, no need to, you know, eviscerate all of the robots just for just to say that we could. That's um, it's gratuitous and a little bit wrong. Let's just get out of here with seven hundred fifty-one pounds. With a seven hundred and fifty pound ghost, but we doubled our money just by making sure we got every little scrap of money and not being spotted and setting off the alarm, we get the ghost bonus, which is basically twice as much. And we've also got an XP bonus multiplier, 1.2 times. For every successful heist you've got under your belt, you get an extra 20% uh, of your total at the end of the mission. So after five successful heists, your next heist, you'll get two times the cash that you would have otherwise got. So there is a really strong incentive not to die and restart with a new thief. So I want to keep Henry Beresford going for as long as we possibly can. That's you, Henry, with your very fine moustache and your crazy hair. I love you. I love you, Henry. Now, um, plenty of abilities we can work towards here. But um, top of my list are... Well, yes, no, I do know. Um, we've got a double jump, but we don't have the wall jumping ability. And the first level, suction pads integrated with your thief's fingertips improve how you stick to walls. That The first level of this will allow us to stop on a wall mid-slide. Otherwise, if we're having to hold onto a wall for any length of time, we're having to keep sliding down and jumping up and sliding down and jumping up. And, you know, if you make a mistake, you are in trouble. So, I think I'm going to get that now. Just, you know, to try and keep Henry alive. Because keeping him alive gets us money. Here we go. Ooh, got some new things to play with here. Uh, that was scary up there. I don't want to handle it. Um, whoop! Hello! Sorry. <laughs> you just carry on walking through. Yeah, you see we've got these guys with much longer vision and they move a fair bit slower as well, which is frustrating because then you just end up standing at the door like a Jehovah's Witness 
just waiting and waiting. I don't know if that's what we did. I'm sorry, if you're a driver's witness, that was me. And, but if you do that, then it's bad for the reputation of the uh, the religion, I suppose. I don't know. <sighs> right, that's you done. Now those guys, they have two health. Those little drones. So, a um, bit tricky to take out. You have to give them two clobbers, and they are momentarily invincible after the first clobber. Um, this, this is why wall jumping, sticking to walls, is so useful. Um, I can stay here indefinitely now, as long as one of the drones doesn't come floating along. Except when you make a mistake like that. It happens, all right. Ha! No problem. There we go. So, a computer hack then. I'll be having this money. Thank you very much. I, I don't know how confident I am that I'm going to uh, complete this mission without any problems. But, you know, with this, this wall slide thing, there's a chance. There's a chance. Mm -hmm. If these guys would just turn around together, that would really help me out. Which means I can get you. Oh! Go away, go away. Stupid, slow, long range robot dude. No! No! <laughs> Leave me alone. Uh, oh god. These little floaty drones are a real problem. If you don't get the second hit soon after. They quite often end up just staring at the spot that you were at, which is usually the place you want to be. Um, eventually they turn around, but oh god, it takes forever. And in the meantime, you get impatient and you make stupid mistakes. And, and sometimes they do end up just staring at it for a very, very long time. Whoop. Well, that's him taken care of at least. Uh, and him too. So that's handy. Do you know what? I could just dive in there and... and hack the computer while the alarm's going off and... Whoa! Gotcha! No need for any of that dramatic nonsense. Right. I mean down and up and up again. Ah, look at that hall already. That's that's some serious cash. Whoa! Don't fall in the pit of spikes. Obviously it's not... It's not fun. It's not a, not a good place to be. Because... Uh, that's the thing with this game. One hit. One hit. And you are toast. That's it. You lose all the cash you picked up. Woo! Ah. God, the stress. The stress of this game. I don't know why I love it so much. Uh, oh, there's nothing down here. This is just a complete waste of time. Full of pits of spikes. Why? Why, Dan Marshall? Why you give us pit spikes? Okay, uh, so really there's just these guys over here, and I don't... Yeah, they've got a little bit of money. It's worth it for that ghost bonus, just to... Whoa. There we go, and you. And... Oh, you're going to be staring at that spot again. Just just fly over here and stare at the spot, so you're pointing the other way, please. That would be really great. To be fair, I could just jump across there and get the money. In. Uh, I'm not so much interested in the money as I am in the... Um, the ghost bonus, which I will only get from collecting the money and not dying. So let's smash this window, which takes a few hits, and then we can take this guy out, and then this guy, and finally, oh god, I can't, <laughs> I can't bear it. The tension. <laughs> okay, and go. Yes. All the monies! All of them! <laughs> Weenie Man away! 100%! 1674 haul. That's a big dollop of cash. And a ghost bonus of 750. Given us a total with our XP multiplier of 1.4 of £3,093. So, we've got over four grand in the bank. We'll just check what that will afford us. That'll do it for this time. 
Oh look! Security clearance level one. I believe that'll get us into the next zone. But am I ready for it? Because bigger loot means bigger security. Let's find out how it goes next time. Bye!